What is happening YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new episode of The Savant Life and uh, on this one, as you might have guessed from the title, we have a package from Steelbird and uh, yes, this is the SBA2 helmet that is doing the rounds of the market right now. Pretty much every other motor vlogger seems to have reviewed it so far. So I thought, why the hell not? Let me go ahead and give you my two cents about this as well. Uh, now, unlike most of those other YouTubers, I will say that this video is not sponsored. Those guys would have told you that this video is sponsored, but I guess they don't know the definition of what sponsorship really is. This helmet has been provided to me by Steelbird for review, but they're not paying me any money for it. As a result, this is not a sponsored video. A sponsored video or sponsored content is when the manufacturer, in this case Steelbird, would have paid me any kind of money at all to review this product, but I'm just doing it out of the goodness of my heart. So. This is going to be as much of an honest review as you can possibly expect. And towards the end of the video, I will also give you some final thoughts, some new thoughts that I have about the TBS Apache RR310. So with that being said, let's kick things off right here on the Savant Life and review this helmet, the SBA2 from Steelbird, right here, right now. Alright, so I'm not going to do like a typical unboxing because it's a pain to hold the camera like that and show the box being open. I don't know what delights people get typically guys in their early 20s from opening new packages, but we're not going to do any of that. I am just going to go ahead and uh, I'd open it up before. I'm just going to pull the helmet out of uh, the rather big container that Steelbird has sent us and uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, you get a tinted visor, but you also get a clear visor that you can use in the night. Guys, again, it's very important to note that if you're using a helmet with a tinted visor, do not do any riding in the night, even if you think you can see with minimal visibility, because it is definitely not recommended. So, the helmet comes nicely packed, I have to say. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised by the packing quality of uh, Steelbird, so we're just going to... Put this away to the side and voila this is the helmet i've got uh, a red white and uh, a black combination helmet i had given them a couple of choices this is the one that they sent me and i think this is one of the more premium ones and uh, i have to say on first impressions it looks really neat it looks really nice over here on my left is the helmet that i actually use for my daily riding which is just a simple classic white helmet which i quite love uh, whereas this one looks quite fancy uh, there are some minor scratches over here on the white, which I wasn't really expecting uh, in a new helmet. But I think overall, the fit, the finish, the paint job, all of it looks pretty decent. And uh, the materials, the leather over here on the inside as well, as I'm touching and feeling it, you can probably make out, is quite well done. Um, and, oh, more importantly, I know this rule was done away with, but had Bangalore Cops decided to implement the ISI helmet rule, then this is the one that you would have had to wear, because there you go. There is your trusted ISI mark, which is supposedly better than DOT and Snell and what have you. So guys, I've kind of uh, had a chance to look at the helmet in detail and uh, try to kind of really, really put the microscope on it. And what I can tell you is that Steelbird has done a really good job in terms of creating a really nice first impression. But if you look a little carefully, if you scratch beyond the surface, then there is a little bit of a different story to be told because obviously this is not a super premium helmet. The price range is between 2.5 to 3,000 rupees. And as a result of it, that becomes very, very apparent rather quickly. So I will just bring this helmet closer to the camera and hopefully show you. Uh, you can probably see a bit of scratches over here at the back. And again, even though the paint quality, the paint combination is rather nice, you will see that as you move along, there are some scratches and some rather unpleasant marks over here, which you would not really expect in a brand new helmet. The finishing again, if you can see where I'm pointing my finger right now, uh, is a little uneven. The paint doesn't finish up as smoothly and as clearly as you would have expected it to. And uh, I saw also that somewhere the paint was a little smudged. And uh, yes, this is the area that I'm talking about. So again, if you can look at where I'm exactly pointing my finger towards, it is a little bit smudged. But uh, again, like I said, 
You get what you pay for. This is not a world-class helmet by any stretch of the imagination. It is made to look like one. And uh, if that is what you're going for, if you're in the market for a helmet that is sort of pretty decent compared to a lot of the other beginner level helmets that you'll get from a Vega or any of those companies, then this is a pretty good bet. But make no mistake about it, if you're to com compare it with phones, for example, this is not a high-end phone. This is a mid-range phone that is designed to look like a high-end phone and there's a lot of difference between how a helmet looks and how it feels this looks good from afar but when it really comes to the feel of it it is rather light and uh, you know i don't know about the protection i'm certainly not going to go ahead and drop it from the second floor to check the reliability of it but i can tell you that it is okay for city riding and uh, you know casual commuting but for highway rides and things of that sort i really would not recommend this helmet for sure Alright, anyways, so let's uh, get back to talking about a few more positives of the helmet and uh, the number one thing is, of course, this beautiful visor that you have. It looks really great and it occupies so much of real estate in the front. It gives you that really cool alien daft punk kind of look, which I quite dig. Uh, the visor itself comes in four different colors, gold, silver, rainbow and blue. And I think this particular color combination of this helmet, even though I had not asked for this one in particular, I really, really like this one. From an aesthetic standpoint, I think it looks really cool. And especially if you have a red bike, like a red unicorn, or maybe a red Yamaha FZ or a red Apache, I think this helmet would look really, really nice on it. Although what I would really prefer is that since they've gone with the golden visor, instead of the red and white combination, if they've just gone with the red and golden combination instead, it would have looked like Tony Stark's helmet and I think that's a great opportunity but hey maybe you can get that done on the aftermarket so if you have any friends who know people uh, or if they're artists themselves then I think you can go ahead and modify this helmet to your heart's content. The other cool thing about this helmet is that you can go ahead and download the Steelbird Connect app on your phone and using a QR code you can actually check the authenticity of the product. You can make sure that it's genuine and 100% original. Although I don't know who in the market is going ahead and making imitation Steelbird products, but for whatever it's worth you can go ahead and make sure that your Steelbird SBA2 is completely and 100% genuine. The helmet comes in two different sizes, 580mm for the medium and 600mm for the large one. I obviously ordered the large one because apparently it turns out the Savant has a very large head. And I have to tell you, I was a little disappointed by the size and the fitment of even the large option because it turned out to be a little tight. In fact, what I'm going to do is I will wear both this helmet and after that I'll wear my regular one and show you how different it looks. And I think uh, that will show you a thing or two about the fit of the helmet itself and also about, uh, you know, the quality of it. Because when I wear this helmet, I kind of feel like uh, one of those guys riding a TVSD or, TVSD or Honda Dio. What am I? What is wrong with me this weekend? Anyways, uh, riding a Honda Dio or a TVS Star City or a Suzuki Axis, it just feels like one of those kind of slightly flimsy light helmets. Uh, whereas this one feels absolutely solid, like it could save your noggin when uh, it really comes down to it but let's go ahead and uh, let's try this bad boy on by the way helmets are all cool and stuff but i think it's about time the shampoo guys get in touch with me to review their products all right so this is how it looks with the helmet on and uh, i think you can't really make this out on camera or you know even in pictures but uh, this helmet feels a little too tight for me and i ordered the biggest version available i actually ordered the larger one which is uh, the 600 millimeter helmet and it still feels a little small it still feels a little tight in fact i'm going to go ahead and uh whoo i'm starting to breathe in there and you see how close this thing is to my mouth actually there's hardly any space and while i'm guilty of having a big head steel bird i think there are actually other people out there in the country as well who have a head as large as mine and they're really going to struggle with this option if this is the largest helmet that you have it's going to be rather uncomfortable because one it moves around like this and secondly it's not big enough because you know my chin is still not covered by it so um i don't really dig the fit of it too much but i really like the look let me go back to being an alien there you go take us to your leader we're here to take over your planet Ooh. Oh my god, it's so suffocating in here. I can barely breathe. This just feels so claustrophobic. Holy shit, let me get out of this as soon as I can. <sighs> oh. 
I am not trying to exaggerate, but uh, I've worn a lot of helmets in my life. This just seemed a little too tight for my own liking. It just seemed like I was sort of struggling to breathe over there and uh, that is not a good feeling. Now let me try my regular helmet on and show you what it feels like and show you what it looks like because you know, you can't really. Oh my God, this feels so much better. This feels so incredible. And I'm not just saying this because this is my helmet. Honestly, this feels so nice. It feels so secure, so snug and uh, there is enough space between my mouth and uh, where the helmet actually begins and at the same time as you can see it's not really shaking around too much which is the sign of a good helmet also i'm just going to give you a view from both angles it uh, looks pretty nice to me and this is what i would go if i had an option of choosing between the two however if you need a backup helmet i think that one and more importantly if you have a small head agar aapka chhota sa dimag nahi nahi dimag nahi dimag nahi agar aapka chhota sa sar hai so you can buy helmet, but if you have a big head, if you have an even bigger e ego, like I am sometimes accused of having, then you probably will not be able to fit into that helmet. Your head might, but what if your ego doesn't? You know, just as it is important to protect your head, it is equally important to protect your goddamn ego as well. I don't know, it's Saturday and I am in a mood to crack some jokes. Anyway, all jokes aside, if I had to rate this helmet, I would still say, that's a pretty decent helmet. It's not a bad helmet by any stretch of the imagination, but it looks like a really good helmet. And all I would say to all of you guys, all of you impressionable young viewers, especially watching out there, is that do not get fooled by its looks. It looks like a great helmet. It is an average to an above average helmet. Now, if I had to indulge, I was a movie critic and I had to give stars. But because I'm reviewing a helmet, I might as well go ahead and indulge that little fantasy. So I would go with two and a half stars for the SBA2 by Steelbird. It's so so powerful, so authoritarian. I never feel it. It was fun by God. Okay, now let's move on to a different subject and let's talk about the TVS Apache RR310. Uh, of course, if you haven't gone ahead and watched my ride and review video, go ahead and check it out right now. Stop everything, stop watching even this video. I will link it up somewhere up on the screen or leave the link in the description section so that you guys can go ahead and check it out. But I had a couple of additional thoughts about the RR310 which I did not capture in that video. And the first things first, I think TVS has indeed priced this bike a little on the higher side. Uh, it costs about 2.66 lakhs on road here in Bangalore, which I think is quite exorbitant, even with all of the fit, the finish, the quality and the features. If it were up to me, I would much rather go ahead, put that additional 20,000, 30,000 rupees and just buy a KTM RC390 and be done with it. But if you have the money, why not splurge 1.2 lakhs more and just go ahead and buy the Yamaha R3, the 2018 version that comes with ABS. And oh yeah, one more thing. TVS also has a waiting period of about three and a half to four months if you book in Apache RR310 right now. So even if you want to go in for that bike, be ready to be very, very patient because it is going to take at least 90 to 120 days for you to actually get your hands on that bike. So very important piece of information. And also it's available only in select cities and select outlets in those cities. So availability is going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, so you might want to take that into consideration as well. All right, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, if you have any questions for me about the helmet, then go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. If you want to pick up this product, then I will leave some links on Amazon for you guys so that you can go ahead and check it out and maybe help support the channel as well. If this is your first time around at the Savant Live, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it only takes a second. And while you're at it, also click on the bell icon so that you can be notified when I put out more new videos. I will see you in the next one. Until then, as always, take care, ride safe, be good, and have fun.